you've been thinking about using your X-T2 or T20 as a vlogging camera, but you're not particularly happy with the screen. I mean, we all love the nice articulated screen, but if you want to shoot yourself, you want it to flip out realistically, don't you? Well, I've got a solution that won't break the bank. Let's take a look. You can pick this up on Amazon now as an Andoa Viltrux DC50 for about £81. And I think this could be something that's just going to open up a little bit more use to my X-Series bodies. Let's see. Yeah, a nice bit of padding in there. Warranty card. That shall be getting filled in. User manual. You can use batteries or an AC adapter. Now, I don't have the Sony battery at the moment, so I'm gonna be ordering those if this goes well. We've got a mount adapter, which actually is, yeah, it's all plastic, but it feels like it could do the job. A bit stiff there, but that's all right. We've got two different HDMI cables, which is cool because this one, I believe, is the micro one, which is the one that we need with the T2. And then we've got the main event. And there she is. It's all right, that. Plastic fantastic, I suppose, but yeah. We've got somewhere for your batteries. FM 500H, QM71D, 91D. Definitely going to be getting some Sony batteries if this quick test goes well because I'm looking to use this out in the field. For the test, we're going to be using a DC adapter, which will go right in there. On off on there, push there with a dial for selecting. Yeah, kind of cheap, kind of old school, but you know, it's a budget number. And this side, we've got HDMI in, out, shake it all about. AVSR, ah, you know, over time that might get lost, but that's decent enough, you know. USB on the bottom and a headphone socket there. You see the speakers here, that might give me a bit more feedback when I'm playing back footage from the camera with the camera's tiny little speakers, no chance. Might not even need to put some headphones in. I know that this does playback sound, so I'm going to turn the sound off while recording so there's no interference there but you know what it's all right that a little button on the top work out what that's for and the actual hood itself flick that up and there it is that's all right you know look at that that comes out quite a ways now i'll probably be taking that off to be honest and it looks like that's actually pretty easy straight off straight on Straight off. That's all right, that is. Quite good. This five inch panel is only 800 by 480 pixels, so you're not getting your HD experience, but I'm not looking to use this for anything particularly critical. It's more for composition, to be sure about my focus, etc. And there's something that this offers that's gonna really help, I'm hoping, when it comes to using manual focus. Something that we enjoy with the Fuji's already, for example, but bigger and hopefully better. But we're gonna we're gonna check that out. So let's get rid of that. DC in, on, and there she is. Push the button on the side. You got a menu there, and you can work down it by scrolling. That it's kind of old school, you know. It's kind of cheap and tacky, but it is what it is. Peaking. There we go. That's something I'm gonna be showing you bit tricky this 16 by 9 4 by 3 auto and DSLR take me a little while to get used to this color temperature right oh brightness let's leave it in the middle for now HDMI input source contrast brightness volume all right let me turn this all the way down for now because as I say, when I'm recording, don't need it. That is quite tough. <laughs> Settings menu. You've got mirror, so you can flip it. Attach this first of all. So let's do that. Dead simple. 
quite solid that is. Ah, so you can turn that around. There we go, cool. We've got our camera, and we've got HDMI lead, so let's flip this over here. HDMI into there. And then, let's just mount this first. Plug that in there. Flick on the camera first. We're gonna switch this on and all being well, screen's gone off, screen's gone on. Actually, screen hasn't gone off yet. I guess, yeah, no. Moment of truth. And there she is, woo woo. See, let me flick this down so you guys can see it. Sweet. That is actually cool. And I don't know if you can see it. Let's flick this out into manual focus. We've got Scottish Minion well out of focus. Now, if we just move it in, look at that. There's something that I was really excited about. Focus peaking on a bigger screen. And it actually seems very decent. That is very handy. You know, look at that. Let's bring it down so you can see it a bit better. Look at that. Looks decent on the screen, right? I'm quite happy with that. And actually, it seems to be happening in a decent, whoopsie daisy. No insane lag, lag test. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. What do you reckon, Mr. Minion? Decent, no? Playback, nice and simple. Flick it through, goes through just at the speed you'd expect. To all intents and purposes, this just looks like it's duplicating the back screen with no hassle at all, no lag, nothing to slow you down. And really, I wanna use it for video stuff, vlog style stuff, not, you know, vlog, going, driving, taking coffee, blah, blah, blah. And you can see all the photos that I took when I shot for the Pentax 135 review. Pretty rubbish, I know. <laughs> Not the lens, the shots. Anyway, check out the difference between DSLR and I guess it was in auto, really. Did you see? No, it's probably still, let's choose 16 by nine. It doesn't have the Fuji one. of three to two. That's all, oh, but look, the DSLR one does crop in a little bit, but of course, that's just for monitoring purposes. I think I'll just leave it in auto for now, I'm happy with that. Return appears to have come back. Color temperature, brightness, uh, yeah, to all, I think that just looks fine as it is. That looks like it's gonna be a worthy little number. Tell you what, Time to get some Sony batteries and stick them in the back. My X-Pro batteries have arrived. Two FM500s with a USB charger for 21 pounds. I guess I'll put a link below as always. So I've got it attached in here. There we go, that's in properly. You've got a nice little battery release just in case, you know, it's not going anywhere if you're unsure. Let's, there you go. Right, so it's in, flick it on. There you go, it's not pretty, but it shows you that it's working and working fine. In fact, I've used this, well, for the longest on, 30, 40 minutes at a go, no problem at all. I've yet to use the batteries past that, but I think they're good for at least an hour or two. Now, that's important to me, and that's why I got two. It's compact, I can fold it down, and I'm away, in fact, I could fold the whole thing down and it doesn't even take up that much space. I managed to get it inside my little gray uh, Zeti bag, just like that. 
and that was absolutely fine so i think this thing is coming with me on my travels and actually might just help me encourage me to use my xt2 for more pieces to camera as you can appreciate this is not a fine tool this won't give you the accurate colors that you might need you can't record to an external hard drive it does say that it only accepts signals up to 1080p but i threw a 4k signal through it no problem of course it doesn't display in 4k but you can see what's going on for a relatively cheap price i can monitor the composition and what's going on with the auto focus etc i can use that focus peaking to death absolutely love that and even play back with a little bit more volume or headphone socket which my t2 without a grip doesn't offer when it comes to a cheap solution for monitoring yourself when you're shooting video or just having a bigger screen when you're shooting other objects or focus peaking i would say for 82 pounds this is very decent thanks for watching subscribe leave a comment below let us know what experience you have with monitors especially at the budget end i think for some of you guys that want to see what you can do with your t2 buddy now that video is getting even better now that we've even got 4k f-log direct to the card i think more of us are going to be playing with video and this could well help us to step up our video game